So you're looking for help on how SEMrush can help you with your backlink building process. Well, we're here to help. Today, we'll go through what exactly a backlink is, why they're important, and how to use SEMrush to research, analyze, and build backlinks to your site. We'll finish with one of the best tools SEMrush has to help build backlinks. Google still rates backlinks as one of the most important factors to determine where your site's pages will appear in the Google search results. So if you're ignoring building backlinks or don't know much about them, this will be the perfect starting point. Okay, let's get on with it. So first things first, what is a backlink? They are simply links from other websites that point towards your site. You might hear them being referred to as inbound links or external links or something similar. Basically, any link that is not on your site that links the user to your site, we will consider a backlink. Why are they important? Backlinks are one of the largest signals that Google use to rank websites. They show that your website is a trusted authority. They are a way Google finds new pages. They help build your trustworthiness and they will help send additional traffic to your site. Backlinks should always be a part of your SEO strategy. And our favorite tool to use to help build them is SEMrush. But there are others and you may not even need a tool if you already have a strategy in place. But then, why would you be here? What makes a good backlink? So, not all backlinks are created equal. A backlink from a website like the New York Times will be much more valuable than a backlink from a small spamming website that has thousands of links to random sites and has no real content of its own. The New York Times link will be what we would refer to as a quality link, a link from a highly trusted website that abides by all of Google's webmasters guidelines. Not only this, but links can be follow or no follow. And now they are also sponsored and UGC, user generated content type of relationships. These are ways Google uses to help determine what type of links are being used. The best from our point of view is the standard follow link and it's what we always aim to get. There is value in the other links, but that is a whole different conversation that we won't get into today. Building backlinks can be very difficult, and because of that, they have developed a lot of unsavory methods, strategies, and people ready to get a cheap link. We don't believe in that and have only ever used white hat methods ourselves, which is what we will describe here today. I hope that gives you a nice little introduction into what backlinks are, so now, let's get into SEMrush. So, in SEMrush, we're going to be looking at the link building section. The very first thing we like to do, even with a newer site, is to put it through the SEMrush backlink audit. This gives you a fantastic overview of where your site stands. Like with our other SEMrush tutorials, we'll use the website chainsawlarry.com that we found when doing keyword research for our first SEMrush video. So we put the domain in the text bar and press start backlink audit and then press it again and that will take you to this page where you can connect your Google Search Console account for more results and more accurate results. This takes a little while to complete so whilst that's working we'll look at the analytics. This is another great place to start and where we do a lot of our research. Simply put a website's domain into the search and press go. Here, we have a page with a lot of information. We have information on the number of referring domains and backlinks themselves. We have new and lost for both sections below that. We have categories, top anchor text, authority score of referring domains, types of backlinks, the attributes we mentioned earlier, the top level domain distribution, countries, profiles, and pages. A lot to take in. We won't go into loads of detail on each of these today, but know that this is a great place to get a high level overview of a domain's backlinks profile. Then if you want more information, you can go deeper at your own pace. 
But now we'll go back to the top and look at the bat links themselves by clicking the bat links button. Doing this is a way to find potential new bat links for your own site. If you search for a competitor's bat link profile, simply come to this page, change to just follow links and have a browse. But by now the audit tool should be done so we'll jump back over to there. You'll initially get a pop-up like this that shows you an overview of your site. As we can see here, Chainsaw Larry has got a high toxic score, which isn't good. Maybe that owner has been up to slightly questionable backlinking practices. But from here, you can add your Google Search Console account and your Analytics account. These will help the SEMrush tools to suggest more precise recommendations and will allow you to mark already acquired backlinks. You can also add an email account which will be useful later on. This is a great way to track your backlinks and get an overview of how your site's backlink profile holds up. This includes a lot of features. So again, for this video, we won't go into huge amounts of detail, but if there's interest, we can in the future. So we'll quickly go over them instead. First is the actual audit. This is where the individual links from the audit show up. As you can see, there are a lot here and they are sorted by most toxic. For each link, you get some nice information, such as how old they are, the anchor text, the referring domain's authority score, and then some actions. From here, you can send each toxic link into one or three places. You can whitelist the link if you think it's acceptable. You can add to the remove section where you can ask the site owner to delete the links, or you can move them to disavow, which is where you can upload them to Google's disavow tool so they are no longer tracked by Google. As an example, we'll send the first link here to the remove tool by clicking the remove button. We then get a nice little feature where SEMrush can remove many links that share the same root domain or have similar titles. These are probably networks or a PBN or similar and then remove. And then in the remove section, we can see all the links we just added the status, and we can send emails from right here in SEMrush, like this. And they have some nice templates and other features to make this as easy to use as possible. Okay, that's enough for the audit. From that, we hope you get the gist of the power of the auditing tool and the additional features that can help you track and clean up your battling profile. But now we want to look at building new links. Finally, for this, we'll head over to the link building tool. This is our absolute favorite part of SEMrush's Batlink suite of tools. We've always found the hardest part of Batlinking is finding the perfect websites to link on or prospects. Some people make a full career out of finding prospects for their clients. But with SEMrush, you get it done for you to a degree or never be quite as bespoke as a real person to do the work, but it is a great start. Let's get back to it. Here we can add our domain, chainsawlarry.com. Then we can add some of the most relevant keywords we want to rank for. Semrush does a decent job of filling this out with some suggestions, but feel free to add your own. And similarly, we add competitors. And then we can start link building. Again, this takes a little while to collect and analyze the data. But after a couple of minutes, you get this screen where you can go to your new prospect. 1,986 in this case. From here, we get more information about each of the prospects. There's the URL itself that SEMrush has identified as a potential place for a backlink, the type of URL, the authority score, and a SEMrush rating. And then you can go do things with these prospects, such as move them or delete them. We'll get to what that means in a second. All of these are searchable, and you can also add advanced filters. So if you're looking to do a campaign to gain forum backlinks, for example, then you can easily filter for just forums. Very useful indeed. We're going to look at this URL from protoolsreviews.com. Coincidentally, a website we have actually mentioned before in our video on the best affiliate marketing websites to learn from. From here, We'll take a quick look at the different outreach strategies we can use to organize our link building efforts. We have a manual link for things like user profiles that you can add links to, directories to promote your business, 
adding a link to an already existing article, product reviews if you have your own products, links from already unlinked mentions, guest posts, recovering lost backlinks, and then you can also customize this to suit yourself. But for this example for Chainsaw Larry, which is an affiliate website, we're going to see if we can get a guest post opportunity from similar websites. So we'll click guest post. Doing that sends a link to the in progress tab. You can do this for many at a time, which will help speed things up. Then we pop over to that tab and can see it here. Now we have stats on what we've done for easy tracking. We have the URL with contact links such as Facebook, Twitter, and their contact page then we have the ability to contact them. Made even better if you link your email account. We won't do that for this video, but it's well worth it. Then there's a status bar to help you organize your backlink campaign. And finally, we can move the link to the monitor tab if we are successful in getting the backlinks or remove it if not. So in the monitor tab, you can track the links you currently have and import new ones this URL doesn't actually have a link to Chainsaw Larry, so there's not much here, but you get the idea. On a lot of the websites that we create, which are affiliate websites, we discuss and review products and things that people can buy. One of the most successful ways we've built backlinks is to find a smaller manufacturer of a product that is relevant to us. And after we have mentioned one of their products on one of our posts, we reach out to them and send them that post. We then say that we love their product and that they are free to use the post that we wrote for anything that they like. Jumping at the opportunity for free positive press, they might give us a quick backlink or a mention on their site or social media. This is a perfect example of what SEMrush can track. If you go back to the in progress tab, you can import domains here as well. This is something we would do with a manufacturer's websites and then it would work exactly as we mentioned before. This is how we manage and track all our links and it makes that process so much easier. Okay, and that just about wraps everything up. Obviously, we haven't covered absolutely everything, but we hope this gives you the potential value you can get from SEMrush Link Building Toolset. If you do need any more help, then feel free to get in touch either in the comments below or email us, which you can find on the About Us page. But for now, thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> so you're looking for help on how SEMrush can... So you're looking for help on how SEMrush can help you on... So you're looking for help on how SEMrush can help you with your help you with building help you with building so you're looking for help on how semrush can help you with back help you with backlink building process uh, so today we're gonna so today uh, today we'll go through what exactly oh my god from a from a small from a small all of Google's uh, then Similarly, then similarly, similarly, sim, then similarly, on a lot of the webs, yes, that abides by all of Google's webmaster guideline. A link from a highly trusted website that abides by all of Google, 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 Google's, <sighs> a link. From a highly trusted website that abides by all of Google's webmaster's guidelines. Whew. A link from a highly trusted website that abides by all of Google's webmaster's guidelines. Yeah.